Hi, today we are going to solve the programs related to pipes and shared memory. So these are the two questions that we are going to focus on. The first question is that let us suppose that there is an existing program input.c which prints a welcome message for the current logged in user and then prints the date and time. The compiled file of this program is input. Now this is already there. You are required to write another program which will call the compiled file input and print the data entered by the user. So for this what we need is first we need to have this input.c file and the compiled output file input. So this is the input file that you need to create first input.c. So nothing to do here simple program where you are going to print a welcome message to the current logged in user. So I am going to use write to print the word welcome and then current logged in user I am going to get using the system function and who am I is going to print the current logged in user. Then the second thing was to print the date and time so for that I am going to use the date command okay. So welcome whichever is the user today is then we will get the date from the date command date and time from the date command. So this is the first program input.c. Now this we need to compile so that we can get the output file input. So this is as per the question. Alright now if I run this. So this is what I am getting. Alright now this is an existing program or an existing command you can say that is already there. So in interprocess communication we have studied p open where p open can be used to connect to a another process and we can connect one process to another process either in the read mode or in the write mode. Now what I now what the question wants is that you write another program which reads from this particular process input and whatever it reads it prints on the screen. Now the second program so I am going to name it as open 1.c. All right. So now very simple if you have done the popen programs this is pretty straightforward similar to that only one change that is there. So we require a file pointer variable an integer and a buffers to store whatever is being read from the other process. So now use popen. Now here in the practice question I think we have used ls. So what we were trying to do is we were trying to read the output of ls but here According to the question you need to read the output of the input file, the input process. So read the data from the input process. So popen will connect this particular process with the input process and whatever input sends will be read by this particular process. Now so this opens a file stream. So we are using fread to store that data into the buffer. Now why I am using this buffer I will comment it as of now I will come back to this and then we are going to print the buffer ok. So this process gets connected to the second process input reads the data and prints on the screen. So save this compile it let us suppose we name it as popen popen 1.c dot slash a dot out sorry not a dot out dot slash p open ok. So you can see welcome Baljeet and the date and time exactly what the other process printed on the screen. Now there is one problem here it prints some garbage values. This is because the buffer size is more than this content that we are getting from the other process. So that is why I have used that this line which I commented. So what we are doing here is we are clearing the input by using this null character. So this is a null termination character which tells that this is the end of the input string ok. So whatever extra characters are there so like total buffer is 100 so whatever it is able to read from there onwards it is going to from there onwards it is going to signal that it is a null termination character. So don't read 
from any extra characters from the string. So if I recompile this and rerun it, now you see there is no extra character that is being read. Okay, so this was the first program. Now the second program is we need to write a program to create a shared memory segment of 2048 bytes and write some content into it. Then we need to create a child process which will read the content written by the parent process in the shared memory segment. So this actually is almost similar to the practice pro program. The only difference is there I have written two separate programs. Here I am going to create the other program from within the parent process itself. So we are going to create a child process rather than writing a separate process altogether and the shared segment size will be 2048 bytes. So this is the program that you need to write. So first I will explain this program. All right. So initially we have declared the required header files okay, for different functions that we are going to use. Now coming on to the program. So we start the main function. So initially we declared the variables that we are going to use in the program. Now the first thing is you need to call the shm get function which will create the shared segment. So you give it a key 12345 and the size as per the question 2048 then the writes read and write and then since I am going to create it so ipc underscore create. This function is going to return the identifier of the segment which will be stored in shm id. Next we are going to use the shm at function to attach the created shared segment with the address space of the calling process and at whatever memory it is being attached that will be stored in the shared underscore memory variable. And then we are going to just use a printf statement to print the process id. Then we are going to ask the user to enter the data, whatever it, the, the user wants this process to write in the shared segment. So we are going to read that and copy it into the shared memory. So this is the part of the parent process that was required as per the question. Now next part is that it should create a child process. So for creating the child, we are going to use the fork command. And within the child, what we are going to do, we are going to attach the child process to this particular shared segment itself. So we need to use the shm get function again, okay, pass the same parameters, then attach it once again to the shared segment. This time the child process gets attached to the shared segment. So now since the process is attached to the shared segment, so we can just print uh, printf that this is the child id just to be sure that the task is being done by the child process and then we are going to read the data from the shared segment and print it on the screen okay so in the else part so else part is for the parent what the parent will do the parent will wait so that the child can finish its task okay so this is the entire program the parent will create the shared segment, attach itself, write some data into it, then create the child process. The child process will also attach itself to the shared segment and read the data and print it on the screen. So this is the exact code that I have written here. All right. Now, if I save it, compile it, shared underscore 2048 and now I am going to run this. So you can see that the parent id is 418. It asks the user to print some data. So let us suppose IPC practice question. Okay, So this is what the user enters. Now you can see the child process is created. The id is 419 and it prints IPC practice question exactly what the parent process wrote. So those were the two questions from IPC. In the next video we will cover up one more question related to interprocess communication.